So today we're going to look at some aspects of high impact. This is not just a presentations course. We have presentation courses which are a little bit more short in nature. It's you know, just a one day. Uh, they tend to be more basic for people who are beginning. This is high impact for people who want to have real capacity to be persuasive. That might be a one-on-one -on -one capacity. It might be like this, one to a small group. It could be one to a very large group. What you learn in this particular course, how to deal with every single level of complexity. That's very, very important. So, bring up the objectives. Up. So, how overall the two days, the two day program, we take 12 people, so it's very intense. Because there's so much coaching, there's so much coaching involved that uh, 12 people is a good number. So, of course, how to plan and structure your presentation. And we do many varieties of presentations, so you learn the full scope of what you need to know. And how to Begin a presentation with a very positive impression and how to keep that. So your first impression and your last impression are really important. Right? You know yourself, your first impression of something tends to be very strong. And it's very hard to unwind that. So with presenting, you've got to get that right. And also the last thing you say is tends to be what people remember. And their final impression is what they tend to remember. So you've got to get that right too. So we work on that. And how to be natural and relaxed. Dale Carnegie, we don't teach acting. This is not Shakespeare. You, know. you don't have to be somebody else. Oh, I have to be you know, like Steve Jobs, or I have to be like you know, Barack Obama, or whoever it might be. No. The critical thing is you are you. You be yourself. You be yourself. Be your natural self, but be skilled as your natural self. So what you already are, Perfect. You don't need to be anybody else. You have your own style. But be skilled in your own style. Okay? And clarity around the ideas. Sometimes, uh, particularly in complex cases where there's a lot of information, the audience gets can't kind of follow. You know, your explanation might be too long and can't quite get to the point. We teach how to get to the point. Clear and also with force so that people follow what you say. If you don't have that energy and passion when you say it, people don't tend to go with it. I gave you a little example before where what I said and the way I said it didn't work. We call it incongruent in English. It didn't line up. What I said, the words and the way of saying it did not match. When that happens, a study by Albert Ravian at UCLA found that people don't listen to what you say. People don't listen to the words. Only 7% of the actual words get heard. They're making up their feeling about your presentation by looking at how you're dressed, how you look. And the other 38% is by your voice tone and style of speech. But when you make a presentation, all of you, when you prepare a presentation, I'm sure you put a lot of effort into the content. Would that be right? People worry, you worry about the content? Yeah, of course you do. You want to make sure the content's right. So what do you, you do? You probably spend a lot of time on PowerPoint or a lot of time in preparation, get the content right. Most people spend 99% of their time on PowerPoint and 1% on preparation. Of delivering the PowerPoint. That's the problem. PowerPoint is not the presentation. You are the presentation. And you need to practice. So when things don't work here, we go for what we see. So when I did that little demonstration before, and I said, oh, well, it's great to be here. I'm story president of the Change Parent. We're a fantastic training company. If I put those words on the board, you say, okay, right, I get the message, 100%. But you didn't get that message at all. You got no power, no eye contact, voices weak, looking down. You got all of those messages, so it killed, it killed the message. Now, here's the point. 
even if you do fantastic preparation and you get the best PowerPoint in the world, you get up there and you don't deliver in the right way, with enthusiasm and energy, then people won't go for the message. They'll go for you and I'll conclude, not very good, because you're not energized, you're not interesting, they just look at you and think, oh, that was boring. That's why you're in that 97% are not working. Okay. So this is something we need to look at. So this one is, for impact, we want three things. Good structure, content that's got good evidence in it, interesting, but also delivery. If you've only got uh, a logical structure but the evidence is weak, it doesn't have impact. If you have uh, really good content but the structure's all over the place, I can't logically follow. Where, where are we going with this? I get lost. It doesn't work. If you've got really good structure and it's, it's, the content's really great, but your personal delivery isn't good, well that's not going to have impact either. See, so you need all three. And these require practice. So often people will get, maybe the structure's okay, uh, content might be okay, but this often is the weird point, right? The delivery part. It doesn't match. And again, everyone spends all their time on PowerPoint and no time on practice, and they wonder why they have a problem. And as I said before, you this part here, this part here is the presentation. Your face is the presentation. Right? That is the presentation, not the PowerPoint. PowerPoint should be secondary to what we're doing. 